Hello, good morning or good afternoon from Spain. My name is David Narraja. I am Master in General Mechanical MEP Specialist from Geoconsult Company of Incosa Group. In this explanation, I am going to talk about the CFD modeling process to verify the safe condition of a metro station. The different items that I will be talking are detailed in the transparency zone. I would like to start with the introduction. The project that has been considered as reference is the study of Santiago of Chile Metro. This is a metro station where it was necessary to check that in the event of a fire, it met all the requirements for the evacuation route to be safe during the evacuation time. Default, the reason to make this study is related to verify the safety conditions in a fire case. This will, this will confirm that the ventilation strategy is installed correctly. For the study development, the worst case will be considered. In this case, Pedro Valdivia will be the metro station object of this study. You can see an example of the 3D model of the Pedro Valdivia station. Next item will be the scopes. As I explained, our main scope is to verify the safety condition in the Santiago Chile metro. The worst station to verify is Pedro Valdivia. However, how can the safe condition be verified? Well, if the ventilation system works correctly, the environment condition in the fire case should be in a measure range that in can be considered as safe. This parameter can be grouped in temperature, visibility, and toxic gas concentration. So our, our scopes can be defined according to this slide. Next item will be the design criteria. With the scope defined, the next stage will be to define the criteria of, of accessibility. Related to the condition generating the combustion, it will be considered temperature. The limit considered for the study is 60 degrees. Visibility. The visibility length of a scale roof to ensure self-evacuation of users should be 30 meters for backlight signs and 10 meters for door or non-backlight signs. Toxic gas concentration. The carbon dioxide. How well ventilated fires have been considered. So the concentration will be low and will not cause improper ventilation problems. The monoxide carbon, it has been chosen on average. Concentration of 1150 ppm in the first six minutes of exposure. This value equals to a carbon monoxide FID of 0.3. ASIT is the amount of time that elapsed between the start of the fire and the development of unsustainable condition. It is obtained by applying empirical correlation or by fire modeling. Next item will be the methodology and the input data. The fire development, heat transfer generation and smoke movement will be done by a CFD. The heat release rate curve relates the heat power released by a fire and give times of development. All heat release rate curves present three phases. Growth phase, where fire will grow up until the peak heat release rate is reached or until a springer starts working, whatever happens first. A stationary phase is considered that the heat power will remain constant past the peak heat release rate or when a springer starts. Decay phase. In this case, the heat power starts to fall due to the depletion of the fire's fuel. Related to the fire design, the total energy dissipate, dissipated as heat by a train is estimated at 10 megawatts. The total heat release rate, rate is considered to be two thirds convective and one third radioactive. Has no reference made to the fire world. Criterion, the firework criterion, a very fast growing fire is to be designed. designed. This curve is the most suitable for the design fire of the rolling stock running of the Santiago Metro lines.
the heat release rate per unit area had been calculated according to the table, the table zone. The design file proposed to simulate a fuel developed file in the station will be characterized by the following power curve. The file has been defined the corridor file, blocking the main station the main station exit. I mean, this is the corridor file and this is connected to the street, to the main access to the station. So this is blocked because of the fire location. All the parameters to define the ventilation and the rolling stock, it will be provided by the project information. In the first figure, the ventilation strategy and led between ventilation shaft and station could be found. Intake air from outside and station. I mean intake air, okay? And outtake air from the shaft and station to the shaft to the outside. The second figure is so an example of the train model. The 5CFD model parameter and definition, it could be found in this transparency. In this case, the simulation has been made for 900 seconds and other parameters related to temperature and pressure are considered. The parameters related to the pyrolysis and combustion have been defined according to the reference. You could find more detail in the report. The domain used for the simulation has been discretized in finite volumes. In order to correctly define the mess to be used, this factor is very important. It should have values between 4 and 16, according to the NRC US, will be applied. For the study for, I mean, for the five definition of 10 megawatts, um, fine messing, which is achieved with a factor between the value of 0 0.15 meter and 0 0.60 meters. The size selected for the fire zone is 20, sorry, uh, 0 0.20 meters. This fine meshing will be carried out in the fire environment for the correct definition of the fire. On the other hand, it sounds outside the area of the fight itself, a mess size of 60, sorry, 0 0.60 meters will be used. It is assumed that the ignition source, source is directly the main fuel. The five groups with the ultra-fast growth kinetics are indicated in previous section until it reaches a size of 5 times 1.4 meters. On this slide, a 2D model of the station is shown. This station presents six corridors, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the main exit is located in the corridor 5, connected to the access in the street. We have a secondary exit in the corridor 2. On this slide, you can see a comparison of the 3D and 2D model to understand the station geometry. Points to be considered. Horizontal measurement. They will be located at a height of 1.6 meters and 2 meters or more in the scale route. They should make it possible to identify the point and which safety conditions are lost in the scale route. Vertical case, this should enable the formation of the hot gas layer and its propagation to be observed. In some cases, several measurement points will be defined to obtain the value of some parameters. The main exit from the station via corridor 5 will be blocked by the fire itself, which is why the most critical situation and will not be the evacuation route, which is why we will focus on the secondary exit. Next item will be the Kaiser study. I go, I'm going to present the different case study uh, according to the coordinates selected, but we are only focused in this case and this case. That is the study of the platform level and the 
high level of the platform. So we have this case study. This one with our measurement point. This one. This one for the corridor 3, 4, 1 and 2. This one for the secondary exit and corridor 6 and 5 and lobby to main exit. Another case of study for my exit and corridor fire landing level. And a special case study for the corridor fire access level. Next item will be the results. In this case, we are studying the high level of the platform. This is the evolution of the temperature. We can confirm that we are not fit the 60 degree. In this case, we are make a graphic for temperature versus time for the left platform and right platform. And we have not found any case to the 60 degrees is exceed. In this case, our peak is 45 and in this case, 32 degrees. The same, but in this case for the visibility. We consider 10 meters with black color to more visual of the negative condition for the evacuation. We can find for 100 seconds, 150 seconds, we start to see some point that the invisibility is not the, the best for the evacuation. If we represent the visibility versus time for left platform and um, right platform, we can check that we have a first point for 100 seconds and a first point for uh, 50 seconds. In this case, the FID versus time for left platform and right platform. In all case, we are we are not in the 0 0.3 value. Now, the next case of study. Well, in this slide, we can see the evolution of the temperature with the time. We can see that around 300 seconds, we had no evolution of the fire. It's very similar but we start to see some exceed of 60 degrees around 150 seconds and 200 seconds. The same case study but with numerical number. As you can see, the peak is feed, start with 100 seconds for the left bridge and the light bridge we exceed around 100 seconds. The same for the visibility. We can see around 100 seconds, 150 seconds, the first point where the visibility is not the best for the evacuation. The same for numerical number. And we can see in the 18 second, sorry, in the 50 second, we see the 10 meter of visibility are uh, the same for the right bridge side. And um, for the last, the FID versus the time. In, all, in both cases, we are not see the 0 0.3 value. Next item will be the conclusion. The most of result, mm, uh, the most of result in detail that the temperature, the temperature does not reach the 60 degree is only exceeded in the near location of the fire and in the area of the bridge up to about halfway between the connection of the bridge and the corridors 5, 6 and 3, 4 in the direction to the evacuation. According related to the visibility, it can be concluded that the visibility will only be a problem on the bridge level and that at the smoke will be only advanced to the edge of the connection on this level between distributed corridors 1 and 2 closest to the secondary exit, which we will be where all passengers will be evacuated. With regard to the platform level, there will be no visibility problems, except for a bars 
board of smoke from the upper area, which will be evacuated through the tunnel thanks to the airflow generated by the fans in the compensation shaft. It can confirm that the visibility will stop worsening and the station around the second 160. 360 remaining before the connection of corridor 1 and 2. With respect to the bridge level and at the platform level, there will be no evacuation problem due to low visibility. Related to the FID, we we could check that we not exceed in all the case of study the 0.3 value. Um, has End of conclusion, uh, are the methodology and the study valid? Well, a uh, CFD study of evacuation in case of fire has been carried out on the entire infrastructure of the Pedro Valdivia station. From this study, we have been able to extract to extract that we have 19 seconds for the evacuation of the gallery of the area close to the fire, such as corridor 5 and 6, and the upper area of the fire. At platform level, which will be the safest evacuation route, as it does not present problems of the high temperature or low visibility. In addition, we know that we will have up to the 160 seconds to evacuate the people who continue on the bridge level in the connection between corridor 3 and 4. Sign from this moment of the ascent to the platform level will be complicated, but only for visibility reasons. On the other hand, all the analysis read the point that between second 300 and 316, the station acquires a stationary rigging of airflow and fire behavior where the smoke stabilizes. This airflow, which is caused by the fans of the compensation world, which are responsible responsible for avoiding the accumulation of smoke in the station. As a final assessment, according to our experience, we can ensure that the evacuation could be around 360 seconds for conflict zones. It is for the reason that the study has been considered around 900 seconds. It means enough time for the complete evacuation of the infrastructure. This is the end of my explanation. It has been a pleasure to participate in this Congress and I remain available for any question you maybe have. Thank you.